So among the books I read recently, the one I loved is Faraday, Maxwell and the Electromagnetic Field, uh, which sounds very, very serious, which it is. Uh, but the title does not reflect uh, how enjoyable this book is. It's a very enjoyable, deep, serious, entertaining and honest book. Uh, how Faraday uh, almost thought, thought it up. It was almost like how a novel, novelist would probably investigate his ideas. The idea that there's this object and there's this invisible thing around it uh, which has a profound influence over how this object reacts with other objects. I find that uh, extremely fascinating. And I got the sense that the authors uh, have a lot of affection. I mean, writers tend to have a lot of respect and uh, many other grand things for their subject matter. But very rarely do you see uh, this uh, level of affection that the authors have. Uh, Faraday was someone who believed in uh, being methodical, hard work. He was a very hard working person. He's from a very poor family. It's a great triumph of the British middle class and elite society of that age. Maxwell was from uh, uh, an affluent background and uh, he, he, he was a pure genius. Things just came to him. The power of intuition is what uh, James Maxwell stands for. So I'm very grateful to the authors, Nancy Forbes and Basil Mahon for writing this book.